Welcome to the Rusted Garden and thanks for being part of my Facebook group Grow It, Cook It, Eat It. Today I just wanted to show you how I process poblanos, jalapenos, and sweet potatoes. And this is the cook it part. This way, if you're growing this, this gives you some idea of how you can prepare these vegetables from your garden. Poblanos are absolutely delicious grilled. Just drop them on the grill, let them uh, really grill on each side till they soften up and then you take them off. Follow the same process, but it's raining outside, so I did it in the oven. You can put them under the broiler three to eight minutes. I usually cut off the tops, take out the seeds, and just let them stand there and soften up until they begin to brown and the skin wrinkles. The skin is really hard to um, digest, so once they're uh, cooked down, put them into a Tupperware container with the lid, let them cool, and the skin's going to bubble up. You can see it wrinkly right there. It just peels off really easily. Get rid of it. And then I slice it thinly into, well, slices, of course, uh, a little Himalayan sea salt, olive oil, some Parmesan cheese, panko breadcrumbs, and this is absolutely delicious. Jalapenos, I like to slice and pickle. Quick tip for pickling is this is 50% vinegar, 50% white vinegar or apple cider vinegar or a combination of both. If you put vinegar into a pot and bring it to a boil, if it's a metal pot, it can get a metallic taste. So you got to be aware of what kind of pot you're using. If you have a ceramic pot, it's perfect. If you don't have that and you only have, you know, stainless steel or, or something along that line, um, go ahead and just make this brine with water, add the vinegar in after it comes to the boil. So how do you set it up? In a pot, add in 50% water, 50% white vinegar to whatever amount you need to do the pickling. Add in Himalayan sea salt, regular salt's perfectly fine, black pepper, you can put in garlic powder, onion powder, I like to chop up onions, chop up garlic, and even put in leeks for my garden in there. Bring that all to a boil without the jalapenos, take it off the heat, once it's off the heat, drop the jalapenos in. Let them sit in there about five minutes and they'll soften up a little bit but still have a, crisp, a crispness to them. If you let them go longer, they get softer, so it's up to you. Once they get to the right texture, Take them out with a slotted spoon, put them, you know, to the side or put them directly into the containers you have and just pack them in there and then take the brine, pour it on top and fill it right to the top. Put the lids on it, put it into the refrigerator. This is designed to go in the refrigerator. They can last a long time in there. I've never had them go bad. I always, always have eaten them over, I don't know, almost five months and never had a problem. But these don't sit in... Um, they don't sit unrefrigerated. They're going to spoil if you do that. Sweet potatoes, real simple. Cut them up into pieces, stick them into the oven, cook them at 375, 25 minutes to 45 minutes. I do coat them in a little bit of olive oil, add the salt in. So 25 to 45 minutes, depending on how many you have until they're soft. They're absolutely delicious. Then I put them under the broiler for three minutes, four minutes, to just let them crisp up a little bit. And it helps kind of sort of caramelize the sugars and just adds a nice flavor to them. And then I put a little bit of cinnamon across the top. But this is three quick ways that you can do the cook it part of grow it, cook it, eat it. You know, you've already grown them, some ideas of how you can cook it, and then I hope you get to share these with your family and friends. Thanks so much for being part of grow it, cook it, eat it. If you have um, interest in finding out how you can cook your garden produce, follow me on Instagram under The Rusted Garden because I do a lot of one minute videos or I do a picture with a recipe that really will give you some idea of how you can process the stuff coming out of your garden. Thanks for watching.